Such a sweet story, man. Self-sacrifice. Love to see it. Damn! Ooh! Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Liam Tumkudu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Sweet Tooth Episode 6. Really enjoyed the previous episode. Like, stories are starting to kick into gear. Um... Gus is getting closer and closer to Colorado. Amy's getting closer and closer to being caught. Uh, the doctor's getting closer and closer to doing these fucked up things to hybrid kids. You know what I'm saying? But if he's the bigger bad, big bad at the end of this. Like I said, his story has a lot of Mr. Freeze parallels, man. Even the guilt he felt in the previous episode saying he brought the virus to her, but now nah, she got it from some kid. This is a really interesting story, man. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. This is episode six. Dang. I thought, yo, is that drone still working? But it's probably just the wind. It's working as a propeller now. They running. <laughs> this is the most CGI run ever. <laughs> you can tell they are not in this place. Some of the shots look real though. The further away shots though, not the close-ups. Just happens to be tissue there. Ooh, the dude in his leg. Goddamn. That's some great fake running though. We getting some of his flashbacks. That's a Snyder shot right there. <laughs> oh my god. He made it. It's impossible for them not to see that he made it. <laughs> but it's dramatic. It's a whole fucking kitchen. Walkie talkie. Finally get into Colorado. Damn. This episode started massively traumatic. They're looking for the book. So they didn't save them. They want the book. Essentially. He's probably the book now. Oh, the book is still intact. God damn. Now he's interested because they said cure. Uh, just, just. He's mad important. More important than the book. The general likes to get close and personal. Are they going to get away? That seems too specific but tell him not to screw up. Dude's smelling everything. Gus is such a kid though. Nobody just sits at the door like that. It'll be massively windy. <laughs> what, we in Africa now? Like I said in the previous episode, this show is a love letter to nature. Is somebody coming? Is Ice Spice still a cool game? I haven't played Ice Spice since I was a kid. She had a sister? How young she was in the flashback, she had a younger sister? Did, did the sick get her? What if she drops the hug? Somebody's totally coming. That door just had to be that traumatic to open. Is this too drunk? Oh, it's probably the train wobbling. Come on, Gus, man, chill. Damn, they're about to wrench it off. <laughs> wrench versus wrench. I'm here for it. Damn. Two big guys. That dude did not react to getting hit with a massive wrench. That's so cap. What? What is Gus doing? Were they football players together? <laughs> what a twist. 
That's why they both huge. Did those guys die? Where did Gus go? Don't tell me Gus is that much of an idiot though. But he is. Are they fighting? Is she smelling people? Who's that? Weird, he? Damn, more people? Hell no. Y'all not safe. It's time to go to war. So this part of the story is really slowing down the story, no lie. Why is he losing his mind? The horse. Like, this is a great story too, but it's really s slowing down the episode. He doesn't have a cure? Oh, so they were bluffing. There's a divide between them now. Looking at this degree. It's probably gonna break it. <laughs> no, things have calmed down. He's taking it. Was Freya the girl we saw in that opening sequence? This has had so many COVID vibes. <laughs> this story is really giving me a lot of Dr. Freeze. Origin story vibes. <laughs> Still on the train. Damn, he lost his kid and his wife. God damn, his origin story is bad. God damn, nobody has a good story here. Damn. Now I understand. It's hope. It means we have some hope on our hands. <laughs> Something's happening. Take the bikes. There were motorbikes. Those guys are walking and they running, but those guys are legit catching up. Oh my god, it's dog. He's gonna dress up like one of them. That's why those clothes are conveniently there. God damn. Oh, he's on the wanted list. Did you catch that other train? What the hell did you do that for? He earned her respect. To... Such a sweet story, man. Self-sacrifice. Love to see it. Damn. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. The sports sound effects really helping the scene but he's getting his ass whipped she's only taking two waters damn they had to abandon the zoo saying goodbye to her home where are the other kids there they are damn is amy gonna die yo that's gonna be fucked up this sounds like a goodbye the narrator even sounds like that was a goodbye. And the neighbor's still there. Oh, that's sweet. Look at the horse running. They're gonna end it with the horse running. Love letter. Shows us who we are. To nature, okay. They're still showing the kids. God damn, these guys keep coming. Oh, she's ready to take a few of them down. Their squad. What is he seeing? Oh. God damn, I know the last two episodes are going to be heartbreaking. <laughs> There's no way his mother's still alive. <laughs> There's no way. I feel like the story's going to get real the last two episodes, yeah. Am I tripping? There's no way his mother's still alive. <laughs> like, I don't mean to be smiling when I'm saying this, but goddamn, I know it's about to go downhill from here. But that's it. Ah, these... Today's two episodes, I really enjoyed them. I really enjoy watching the show like this. Especially when I'm reacting to it and have to edit it immediately after. <laughs> it's better for my mental health, <laughs> honestly, because I was doing, like, with Shadow and Bone and Jupiter Legacy, I was doing like four episodes at a time type of ish. 
But this is better. This is way better. I really enjoyed this episode. Let's talk about it. Story A dealt with Gus, the train, the dog, everything in between the uh, big man reuniting with his friend. That was a sweet thing. Realizing he had a family before this. Realizing how much he's lost before this. Realizing that um, Bear's got a sister who died too, apparently. Yeah, there we got Story B, the doctor. He almost got burned alive, saved, lied to, lied to the general to get saved. Argued with his wife, found hope again. Then his horse ran free. Sweet story. Yeah. What's happening to Amy? I hope Amy doesn't die. You know what I'm saying? She's doing wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. She saved so many children. So many of the hybrids. Like Gus. Gus can have so many friends because of Amy. It can be a whole new generation of hybrids. Because of Amy. Hope. <laughs> hope she doesn't just die like that. But if she does die, I think she left a capable person in charge of the kids. How do that that is? Um, I'm really enjoying the show. Like, if you like my reaction, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, doses.